Hello, you are watching Unipro Eugene podcast. I will discuss the hottest topics introduced by our users and show the helpful ways of using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. Today we will continue working with sequence analysis in Eugene and consider searching for ORFs or open region frames in a DNA sequence. Let's start with opening a nucleotide sequence, for example, this file from Eugene package samples. Now we select a sequence region with mouse. To search for ORFs, we will right click, bringing up the context menu, select Analyze, and then Find ORFs menu items. The dialog box appears. Let's consider its options. First of all, we can select a strand where to search for ORFs and select the translation code here. The translation code defines, as we see, start codons, alternative start codons, and stop codons. By default, Eugene will search for ORFs that start with one of the start codons and with one of the stop codons and their start codons lie within the search range. Also, the result ORFs will be filtered by length, so search result will include only such ORFs that have length greater than or equal to the value specified in the corresponding text box. So, we have chosen the translation code. The search range is automatically set to the selected range. It is possible to specify the minimal length the results are filtered by. If the option is unchecked, we will get the results of every length. Further, checking the must terminate within region option leads to discarding the results whose stop codons lie beyond the search range. By default, the option is unchecked. Unchecking the next option must start with init coding, allows such ORFs that start with any coding different from the stop codons. The option is checked by default, so we will only get the ORFs starting with one of the start codons. The last option in the parameters panel allows such ORFs that start with start codons or with alternative start codons, corresponding to the translation table. By default, only the codons that start with start codons counts. We are ready to perform the search. Click the search button. The search is done and the resulting ORFs are represented as these table rows. It is possible to look at the results as the annotations. To do this, we can save the results pressing the Save as Annotations button. Press the button. In the Appear dialog box, we can select the existing or create a new annotation table in GeneBank format and specify the results group and annotations names. In our case, a new GeneBank format file will be created and added to the current project view. Press Create. As we can see, the resulting annotations have appeared at the panoramic and annotations editor views as well. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.